In our secondary four exponents and radicals course, we often get questions like these, where you are given a radical with a large number inside of it, and you are asked to simplify. The trick is to find the largest factor of that number that is a square. You can square root that number and bring it outside of the radical sign. 75, for instance, has factors like 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. The largest one of those that is a square is the 25. So I rewrite this expression, still inside the radical, but I write 25 times 3 instead. Since the square root of 25 is 5, I can rewrite this this way, equals 5 root 3. The 3 is trapped inside the radical symbol because it can't be simplified any further. Let's do a few more examples. The largest factor of 63 that is a square is 9. So I rewrite this, 9 times 7. Since the square root of 9 is 3, I can rewrite it as 3 root 7. The 7 is trapped inside, I'm finished. The largest factor of 12 that is a square is 4. So I write 4 times 3. The square root of 4 is 2, it comes out of the radical, the 3 is trapped inside. Here's one that's a bit of a trick question. The square root of 400 is 20. If you can solve it this way, it's more simplified because it doesn't have a radical in the answer at all. It's also faster. So keep your eyes open for numbers inside the radical that are already a square. The largest factor of 32 that is a square is 16. Watch out, because 32 also has a factor of 4. They're both squares. You need the larger one. 16 is larger than 4, so you write 16 times 2. The square root of 16 is 4, so the 4 comes out. You are trapped with the root 2 inside the radical, and you're finished. 